Hey guys, this is uh, Watch Your Vlogs, and today I have another VZ58 video. Um, sorry, I'm not using my other mic. Uh, just trying to throw this together because I have a lot of videos I still have to upload that I've been procrastinating on. So, trying to do this quick, clean, but still showing you exactly what I've done. So here we go. This whole video is going to be surrounding my modification of the stock. And when I say modification, I mean as in changing over to a different stock. Here, let me zoom that back out. Okay, so essentially I will be changing from the standard skeleton stock to a LE style or M4 stock, that some of y'all like to call it. So, here we go. Essentially the back story to this, I bought this gun secondhand from a pawn shop. Didn't know the screw at the bottom of the hinge assembly had to be thread locked in. Subsequently, I lost the screw and it's literally impossible to find these even when I called the people to make this gun uh, the the main manufacturer even told me that since they gotta handcraft them and really get them loose that way when the consumer gets it it's the way they would expect it to be it takes weeks I don't want to wait weeks and I figured hey this would be a great time to try a new stock so here we go essentially taking this out there's the hinge assembly here's the stock the thing that gave me the most trouble about modifying this wasn't even, you know, modifying the new stock to be put on. It was taking the old one off. This thing was thread locked in. On top of that, it's like the, the most shallowest and longest flathead you got to take out. So, I mean, like, I really had to work this thing off. It took me about 30 minutes between an impact gun, an 18 volt drill, and multiple different uh, bits to take that off. So, essentially, that's what the gun looks like now without the stock. Putting it back down, let's take a closer look at exactly what I'm putting on. A buffer tube, the adapter piece itself which I have already pre-modified, I'm just showing you exactly how I modified it. Flipping it on the inside here, this is where the top and that's where the bottom is. So as you see I had to um, take a die grinder with a very small diamond bit and essentially just remove a lot of the material that way when I put the screw in it well you get the point it fit in it before but it, since I have the Sentry Arms version of this gun and not you know straight from you know VZ hot off the press gun you know I'd had to go through them they did their minor changes and let me see if I can show you guys this as I said, we're doing this very unprofessionally, one take. Okay, <laughs> so here we go. Showing you the bottom of the gun. That's what the bottom looks like. You put the adapter on. Before, you couldn't see that whole hole. As you see, I had to dremel out a lot. And once I did that, I was able to put that screw in. So now I will tighten that screw as part of the demonstration. Probably 15, 16 times to make sure that the screw would sink right. You probably can't see that, but that's actually really tight down. You do got that little gap in the bottom. But once I do apply thread locker, as I will here in a second, you know, everything will be great. So, focusing back in here, let's go ahead and do that. I just wanted to show y'all what that would look like on. Another precaution I will be taking, I will be using some DevCon Weld It. You might remember this from some of my older What You're Looking At videos, or What You Vlog videos, my fault. Um, it's just an all-purpose adhesive, uh, just an extra step I'm going to take. I'm not even going to apply a lot, just enough to have it there. That way, if I do decide to change the stock in the future, I still have some way I can take the stock off. I got some Permatex or the off-brand of Loctite. Still very good stuff, though. I have no problem using this on any of my guns.
without cutting film, hopefully. Let's go ahead and attach the buffer tube. After you have gotten to the point where the stock adapter is actually on, you're literally 95% done as far as difficulty. After that, everything else is just a simple screw on and attach. So buffer tube, you know, luckily it, it's completely put in position, puts it right where it needs to be. And then the locking nut, you just put it all the way forward. I find that I can hand tighten this very easily. No wobble, I mean just zero wobble. And then taking the stock, and just in case you're wondering, the adapter, the buffer tube, and the stock cost $96. Um, when you think about it like that, that's a lot of money considering buffer tube and stock is maybe $40 or $50. But VZ or Checkpoint, or yeah, Checkpoint USA is the only place you can buy these adapters from my knowledge. So that makes the other $45 completely worth it. So now the stock's on. I personally like my stock in the third position. Okay guys, so I hope you enjoyed my video on the VZ58 as far as, you know, taking off your old stock and putting on your new one. Um, for some of y'all that might get lucky out there, your screw will be the easiest thing in the world to take off. And the stock will be the easiest thing in the world to put on without any modification. But as you see in my case, um, I got stuck on the uh, shit end of the stick per se. Uh, as in, you know, as far as taking the old stock off, and then doing the modifications, putting the new one on. But with all that said, I'm happy. My stock is completely seated on the, the adapter. My adapter is completely seated onto the receiver. And overall, it looks like I'm gonna have a very fun gun to shoot. And I can't wait to like get, go out to the range and try this gun. Okay guys, hope you enjoyed this Watch of Vlogs tutorial on how to attach your new LE stock to your VZ58. And until next time, I'm out.